Hey fellow Garage Golfers, Roland here with Garage Golf, where we provide extraordinary golf info for the extra ordinary golfer. I wanted to do a quick video for you guys. I'm actually going to interview here shortly with Paul Guzman with Bat Caddy. Uh, so we talked last week at the PJ Merchandise Show, and I wanted to set up a time to meet with him where he was at his facility so he can kind of show us his device and those of you that are not familiar with Bat Caddy, it's a pretty awesome company that does carts, push carts, and remote control carts uh, for walking on the golf course so you don't have to carry your actual golf bag with you. Um, so that's really, really cool. Definitely something that I wanted to talk to them about. Um, best prices on the market by far, I feel, for Bat Caddy versus some of the competitors that may be out there. Um, and they try to keep it simple. That's really their whole concept, just keeping it as simple as possible to keep the cost down, uh, very lightweight frames, different things, very easy to commute with in and out of a vehicle and getting you on the golf course and playing golf. And that's what they're all about. So I'm gonna ask, uh, go ahead and meet up with Paul, ask him some questions. If you guys have any questions for me after the interview, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer any of those. You can reach out to me anytime at Roland at mygaragegolf.com. Let's go ahead and jump into the interview with Paul and see what he has to say about his Bat Caddy products. Let's go ahead and join it now. Hey, fellow garage golfers. So I'm here with Paul Guzman with Bat Caddy. How are you doing today, Paul? I'm doing pretty good. How are you doing, Roland? I'm doing great. So Paul and I talked last week during the PJ Merchandise Show. Obviously, things were crazy, and he wasn't there at his facility. So we decided to do an interview this week so he can show us some of our the products that they have there at Bat Caddy and, and something that as far as uh, different product lines. And we're also going to go into the X4R, which is one of their, their top products that they have out there in regards to the different uh, locations and also the ability to have a remote control uh, access for the actual caddy as well. So we'll kind of set that up. Um, you want to go ahead and we can adjust the camera now and see kind of show that that feature that work for you? Sure. Okay, yeah. perfect. Let's try. Let's try this here. All right. Uh, so, <laughs> so, so what model do we have here, Paul? Uh, this is our X4R. It's a remote control electric caddy. It's our, our middle lineup, uh, one of our most popular popular models out there right now. And I, uh, I think we talked, this is your go-to, your gaming uh, caddy, right, that you use? Yeah. It, okay. Uh, I, mine's in the bed. You want to see mine? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, it's fine. I just uh, want to show you kind of the features that, that this one has for sure. Um, so tell us a little bit about some of the unique things that you guys do on your back caddies here. Well, for us at Bat Caddy, one of the biggest focuses we have is uh, opening the technology up for people, uh, especially who maybe aren't familiar with it. Uh, our remote control caddies uh, start under $1,000, okay. uh, which is, is the best out there in the market right now. Uh, our remote caddies come standard with anti-tip wheels. Uh, they come with the ability to, to trim direction. They come with a standard accessory kit for umbrellas, scorecards. Um, and the nice thing is they come in at 24 pounds without your battery. So you're not looking at much more than a regular fold up card right. as far as, as weight goes. Um, that way, if you ever do want to push it without the electric assist, you can do that if you okay. need to. Um, we really try and stay trim. Um, you know, there's definitely caddies out there that have a lot of gadgets and, uh, you know, electronics on them. Ours are really built straightforward to be able to golf with. Uh, efficiently without a ton of moving parts uh, just to make sure that you get the most for your money out there on the on the course. Got it and this will accommodate pretty much any size golf bag whether it be um, a, like even a staff bag something like that would potentially work on this? Yeah okay absolutely as long as your staff bag doesn't weigh more than 50 pounds you're gonna be you're gonna be okay. You want to be uh, lugging that around take... the golf course anyways right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah and they will take stand bags but really they're designed for cart bags to be the most cart efficient. Bags. Okay perfect. Cool, cool. So, um, so it has that wheel on the back that helps keep it from tipping over with the weight, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, pretty much. When you're using a remote control caddy, anytime you go up a hill, obviously your bag is going to be weighted up here. Okay. Uh, so there are going to be times when it tilts back and that wheel is meant to, to keep it from tipping over. It gets, it gets a lot of use. And what are your battery options on this as far as um, what we're looking at if you were to purchase it? Well, this caddy comes standard with an SLA battery. Uh, we're one of the last uh, we're one of the last brands that even offer that option. Uh, that's what allows us to keep the the entry point low. Okay. Uh, we do have two lithium battery options, which are available to upgrade on any of our carts. All right. We have a lithium ion battery, which is a 14 volt 20 amp battery 
uh, that's designed to get you around uh, at a time with this caddy. Uh, and that has a, a charging life of anywhere from right around 150 charges that'll get you. Okay. Uh, we also offer uh, an advanced lithium phosphate battery, which is a 12 volt, 25 amp battery uh, that will charge 800 to 1000 charges out of it and you'll get two rounds uh, out of each charge with the remote caddies with that battery. Okay, and just so for those of us aren't familiar with batteries, the basic battery that comes with it, how long would you get on the course with that battery? Uh, the SLA batteries are good for a round in between charging them. Okay. And the average SLA battery is somewhere in, um, oh, I'm sorry, I gave you the wrong number. The SLA batteries are, will charge around 150 times. So 100. about 150 rounds out of an SLA battery. Okay. The lithium ion batteries, you get about 400 charges out of that battery. So about okay. 400 rounds. And that would be a difference of $200, I think you mentioned, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. with a caddy purchase, it's a $200 upgrade to the lithium ion battery. Okay. And then a $300 upgrade if you wanted to go to the lithium phosphate battery. And now all your products are warranty for 12 months, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So if anything were to happen to that battery or anything particular with the bat caddy itself, you guys will warrant that. How would the warranty process work if they were to have an issue? Um, obviously, since... Where there's not a store where they would go. So how would that work? Uh, well, the, any warranty issues, they call us directly. Uh, if it's something as simple as replacing a, a part that has quit working on the, on the caddy okay. um, or is damaged or broken, uh, we can send that out right away. Our caddies are designed to be easily repairable. Um, most everything on it is plug and play. So it's really simple for our customers to do a repair or a part replacement on their own. If it's something that they're not comfortable doing or for some reason it's a more complicated, we'll send out a return label and just have them, we'll get the caddy back here into the shop. We'll do the repair and send it right back to them at no charge. Okay. And now I've never personally tested one of these. Um, what is the range on this? So if you're walking on a course, how far could you utilize the remote control to access the back caddy? In perfect conditions, <laughs> eight, 80 to 100 yards is how far the signal will go. Okay. Practical application, uh, you usually want to keep it within 25, 30, 30 yards. Right. You don't want to be all the way down the course sure without, without you there, without being able to control it, obviously, right? Yeah, they do have safety features built in where if it gets out of range of the remote control, it'll shut itself off after a certain amount of time. But that's, you don't want to take that chance. Okay. And now the, the motor's pretty hidden on this thing, right? Because I saw the battery, but the motor's kind of hidden into the frame, it, it looks like to me. Is that accurate? Yeah. It's uh, everything's internal on the remotes. The motors are sealed. Uh, so if you have it's a watery or muddy day out there, mm -hmm. uh, they're going to be safe and continue to function. Uh, definitely doesn't look like some of the older electric caddies that are out there that kind of have that, that lawnmower vibe. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're really not looking for it, you're not going to be able to tell. Oh, I understand. And as far as options on your caddies, you have three different colors, I believe, right? Based upon your website. Correct. We have uh, silver, black, and white in all and of our models available. People can kind of fine tune that, like if they wanted a different rear wheel color, I think is what I saw also on your website, right? To kind of change it up a bit. Yeah. Right now we're not offering that option just because okay. our stock is, is limited oh. with the, the demand that we've seen yes. so far this season. Uh, at some point this year, we'll get back to color customization. Okay. Well, that's very cool. And then as far as like, um, I saw the anti-tip wheel, we talked about that already, but what about the electronic brake assist that your product provides? So going downhill with the remote control, uh, if you don't want to say it's an extended hill and you don't want it to travel on its own all the way to the bottom, right. uh, you can Maybe. use the remote control to, to brake the motors and control that speed going downhill. And the average speed is about five and a half miles per hour, is that right? Yeah, top speed is over seven miles an hour if you want a really good workout. But yeah, you can set it anywhere from a half mile an hour to, to over seven. Okay. And at 24 pounds, it's pretty light, you know, so that's not, that's not too hard to deal with. Is it pretty easy to fold down as well as far as the, the process of that as well? Yeah, the X4 is just two hinges that uh, have a, a tightening screw and you loosen those and it folds right down. Same thing for the, the X8s or even a little simpler. Uh, we try and keep it really straightforward. If you need uh, it to get even smaller, the wheels are all quick release wheels too that you can pop right off if you okay. need it to remove those to get fit in your trunk or back seat. 
So the trunk of a, even a, a smaller car would probably fit in there just fine. Our SUV, yeah. of course, would be quite easy to work with as well, right? Yep, absolutely. Okay. Good, good. All right. Well, cool. What else have I missed? Anything else that you'd want to showcase on the product? No, those are those are the main points okay. for us. And then you have three different series, but it just kind of depends upon what the person would want, right? As far as the XR, um, you have the XR or X4R, you have... What are the other two models that you have again? Please remind me. We have the X3R, the X4R, and the X8R. 8R, right. And uh, they're all a little bit different entry price point. This would be kind of middle tier right in between those two models. Is that accurate? Okay. Correct. And then one last feature that I thought was kind of cool because I was curious about this as well that I saw on your website was, let's say that your battery, you're going around to golf and your battery does die on you, you can put this into a mode where you can just push it like a normal cart, right? Without really having a lot of resistance or anything with the motor being there. Correct. If you turn the power off to the caddy, it, it disengages the, the drives and you're able to push it. Um, it'll be a little bit harder than uh, a regular cart. Right. You'll be able to, to get around and, and finish around. <laughs> and then, you'll be able to handle and then, it, right? Yeah, <laughs> Better than carrying step. your bag still, right? With the wheels. So good. So if you decide to push exactly. it, like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and play 36 holes today and you know your battery may not last that, you still have some options at least, right? Yeah, you're not gonna have to abandon it out there. Well, good, good. All right, Paul, man, I appreciate it. If, um, if you guys have any questions or anything, reach out to me anytime at Roland at MyGarageGolf.com. We'll get you in touch with Paul, answer any other questions that you guys have as well. I appreciate the opportunity, Paul, for, uh, for you to come on today and kind of showcase your product. And we look forward to hopefully testing it out here for you guys in the future as well. Awesome, thanks, Roland, have a great day. No problem, thank you so much. You bet. All right, bye-bye. Okay, so very cool interview with Paul. Um, I'm pretty pumped about that Bat Caddy X4R product. I think that's that's his gamer. That's the one I would like to test. And hopefully we'll have the ability to test that out here on the channel for you guys at home. Uh, those of you interested in price. So the price of the X4R starts at $899 and goes on up from there based upon what you decide to put on there. There are some optional accessories that, that basically you can add to it, such as a seat, uh, let's see, they have sand dispensing bottles, a carrying bag, and then um, a GPS holder as well. Things that come standard with the cart include a scorecard holder, an umbrella holder, and a beverage holder. So when you're on the course and it's in a bright sunny day, it's always nice to have that umbrella that would protect you or if it's raining, of course, as well. So let me know if you have any questions on it. Um, I wanted to kind of show you some of the features, obviously, of it, particularly how it folds up and down, which is really important. Uh, get it in and out of a vehicle and get you onto the golf course with your bag. Again, it fits pretty much any size bag as long as it's under 50 pounds. It's meant more for a cart bag, but it can accommodate even some of the hybrid bags or even a staff bag as long as it's under 50 pounds, as we talked about. Uh, so let me know if you have any questions. A pretty cool product, I think. I'm really excited to hopefully test that out here on the channel and get you guys a video for that as well. Uh, any questions, reach out to me, Roland, at mygaragegolf.com. And, of course, until the next time we see you, as always, keep on golfing. Thanks again.